I'm back with more freezer cooking. Tonight we're going to make an old favorite freezer meal of mine, chicken tetrazzini. The recipe I have came from a Southern Living magazine probably 20 years ago. It's very old and crispy by now, the, the recipe is. I keep it in my favorite freezer cooking cookbook, so I'll always have it handy. Um, I have been cooking along day by day and I haven't videoed all of my recipes because um, some of them I know everyone has their own way. I did meatloaf yesterday. I mixed up two meatloafs and put in my freezer and over the weekend I made a, actually I was going to make a huge stock pot of vegetable soup. I ended up with two huge stock pots of vegetable soup. I just got carried away I guess when I was adding my ingredients. but. So I have four uh, packages of vegetable soup in the freezer, two meatloafs, two packages of barbecue, two ham and hash brown casseroles, and two chili mix. I'm using my little whiteboard. It's, it stays magnetized. It's on the side of the refrigerator. And I'm just gonna keep this here for Brent to always know uh, what's in the freezer for, for meals for after my surgery. So tonight we're making chicken tetrazzini from the chickens that I boiled for the vegetable soup. We're going to make tetra chicken tetrazzini and then I will also make a chicken and dressing casserole, but probably not tonight. Tonight I'll just do the chicken tetrazzini and go from there. So I've got 16 ounces of spaghetti cooking on the stove while I'm talking and then I've gathered my ingredients. I have them all here and my dishwasher's running. I hope that's not too much noise in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, my ingredients for this recipe, uh, four cups of cooked chicken, chopped, uh, 16 ounces of spaghetti, half a cup of chicken broth, cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, and cream of celery soup, eight ounces of sour cream, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. So that will make enough for a meal tonight and at least one meal for the freezer. So let's turn the camera down so you can watch, watch what I'm doing and get this all mixed up. All right, basically we are just gonna mix everything up in our bowl. Here goes the chicken. Chopped cooked chicken, you need four cups. And um, the soups. Cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and cream of celery. Celery soup, one can of each. And cream of mushroom soup. soups in with our chicken. Next we need um, eight ounces of sour cream. Sour cream, about eight ounces. Okay. 
next we need half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, half a cup. I guesstimate, guys. Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of pepper, which will make me sneeze, of course. And I'm just gonna guesstimate again, just kind of give it a good shot of pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt, because the soups are pretty high in sodium as well, so you don't need a super lot of salt on there. All right, all right, so we're gonna stir this well, <coughs> and then we will add our spaghetti when it's cooked the spaghetti you drain it and then you add a half a cup of chicken broth to the spaghetti to keep it from sticking then we will mix it all together and put it in our baking dishes sprinkle with cheese and bake it i'm back with my spaghetti now I'm going to add about a half a cup of chicken broth to the spaghetti and give it a good mix to help the spaghetti to not stick. Okay. All right, so I've done that. Make sure on my recipe what my next step would be. Toss well, okay. We are there, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my spaghetti, get things mixed up. All righty. It's hot and steamy. I will be serving my chicken tetrazzini with hot French bread and a vegetable. And I will try to remember to let you guys see the finished product. I am not very good at remembering <laughs> to show you my finished products when I'm cooking. So I'm sorry about that. This smells so good, you guys. All right. Make sure it's all stirred up well. Bring our baking dish over and that looks about right. So now we sprinkle evenly with cheese and bake it. And I'm using shredded cheddar cheese to top this rest of this casserole. I will add, which I think it's pretty obvious, but um, when you're freezing meals like this, um, I don't put toppings, I don't freeze the toppings with the casserole. I will wait until I get ready to thaw and bake it, and then I will place the toppings on it. it it's much more fresh. Okay, there's our chicken tetrazzini ready for the oven. And here's another meal ready for the freezer. I'll put that in a bag and label it and I will bring you back and let you see the finished product. Okay guys I'm back with my delicious dinner. This is chicken tetrazzini, carrots, and hot French bread. Hope you've enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys will try it and let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and leave me a comment. I'll talk to you later. Bye!